And it's, it's interesting because people walk in and they say like, oh, I've never heard of a date tahini latte. And I'm like, it kind of like, you know, it kind of like reaffirms that, you know, there's so much beauty in our culture that people haven't experienced yet. Located at 5443 Telegraph Avenue, Jerusalem Coffee House is a Palestinian-owned cafe and cultural hub for community building and organizing. The space, quote, aims to bring the spirit and purpose of the traditional coffee house to Oakland, land of the Ohlone, birthplace of the Black Panthers, and home to multi-generational communities that continue to seek autonomy and self-determination, directly linked in heart and faith to liberation struggles around the world. Yeah, so we see uh, Jerusalem Coffee House as, you know, just really being the vehicle for the um, for you know for the narrative that we want to build, um, you know, and this narrative, this narrative, you know, we want it to exist outside of these four walls. A few weeks ago, we had Leila Haddad here. Um, she came over from D.C. She was in town for the federal court case here in Oakland, California, where they heard from families um, from Gaza, and we were able to bring that spirit that was at the courthouse here at the cafe with the food sovereignty workshop by Leila Haddad. You know. We had kind of materialized like the work that we're trying to do, right? Where people can come in and really feel like uh, a strong, you know, just be overcome, overcome through, you know, liberation, resilience, and courage. One of the most beautiful aspects of, in my opinion, of the whole cafe is the logo that we have, uh, the Jerusalem Coffee House logo done in the Arabic calligraphy, it was actually done by a good friend, Bilal Khali who's actually in Gaza right now. Um, he's a photographer and he's a muralist and artist and just a very beautiful, it's like a very beautiful human being. And if you just take a look at his Instagram, you see like the, the violence that he's living in and, and, the, and the reality that he's experiencing. And it's almost like a duty, a responsibility, right? I feel like, like spiritually, I feel a responsibility to honor him. You know, culturally, I feel a responsibility to honor him and every other Palestinian. So this cafe, it's heavy. You know, it's not just like, oh, it's done in my image or it's done in the image of the collective that we all worked on together to get it here. But it's done in the image of every Palestinian like living and breathing. It's done in the image of every Palestinian that's been martyred. And I feel like it's really representative of, of who we are as a people. And I really want to honor them in that light. Elements of Palestinian culture are further infused through Jerusalem Coffee House's unique menu offerings, which include a selection of drinks inspired by Palestinian flavors and cuisine, such as date tahini, orange blossom, and rose cardamom lattes. Yeah, so the menu is really interesting. Like, everyone thought it was crazy. Like, you know, when I came up with the date tahini, people were like, what are you, like, are you majnu? Like, that's the Arabic word for crazy. You know, they're like, it doesn't make sense, it doesn't compute, but it's, uh, it's really good. You know, really for me, uh, the flavors that we use are just representative of our own cuisine, our own culture. You know, like the Palestinians, we use cardamom in almost everything that we eat. Like cardamom is everywhere, you know, cinnamon, clove, um, penis, like all, all of these flavors are, are not foreign to me. Every day, every day when we come in here, we're opening our doors to the community and, you know, People, they all process things differently, right? And I think right now, especially with everything that's heightened as much as it is, you know, people's emotions are also heightened. And for me to take that on, it's heavy. Like, I don't, I don't know how to process that, but, but to hold space. I implore you all to like come here and hang out and just like listen to the conversations that kind of happen here, right? People come here and they do some political organizing. People come here and they, you know, the, the conversations that they have here are very, like, very deep, very emphatic, and I feel like it's that's indicative of how safe people feel here, regardless on what side of the spectrum they may be on, right? Regardless of, you know, how they might feel about what's happening, they, they come in here, they realize, you know, what they've stepped into, and it's, it's beautiful to be able to see that. Reporting for Cal TV News, I'm Anjali Pajuri. Yeah, no, the date tahini blew my mind. Yeah, <laughs> it's I'm, so good. Yeah, yeah. like, like it's, it's my favorite. My yeah. top two are the date tahini and the cardamom spice. Mm -hmm. But whole milk. I know, I know we're in Oakland and Berkeley and Bay Area. I know you guys like oat milk, but oat milk does not go with coffee. You know, whole milk, coffee is best with whole milk. 
Um, but uh, you know, but we have. Controversial I know, but, but we have oatmeal for everybody.